Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Manzi, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk and welcome to this brief course on Mobility Simulation, Know the Basics. Welcome to module number three, Traffic Simulation. Okay, so we're going to build on uh, what we learned in session two with pedestrian simulations with a uh, traffic network. So we're going to create a basic traffic simulation. Um, in the process of that, I'm gonna go through roads, obviously, but also zones, uh, intersections, roundabouts, uh, a little bit about signaling. And we're also gonna look at crossings where we're starting to uh, see how we can get an interaction between the pedestrians and the uh, and the cars. So, as we've mentioned earlier in the course, uh, we have two environments as far as traffic simulation is concerned. Um, we have the uh, the InfraWorks traffic simulation operating in InfraWorks with the mobility simulation working in the background, uh, driving it, or we have the full mobility simulation interface. Now, while we can develop our traffic simulations in mobility simulation from scratch, by far and away the easiest and fastest way to create a traffic network is through the InfraWorks interface. So we can develop a network through InfraWorks and then have that converted for use in mobility simulation. So even if you have a combined simulation to create, uh, we can quickly develop the traffic network in InfraWorks, then transfer to mobility simulation to add the other elements that can only be added within the mobility simulation interface, such as people um, or, or, or public transport, for instance. Okay, so we have a video here where um, I'm going to cover all of that. So uh, let's play it and see what we've got. Okay, so traffic simulation. Uh, there's three main modes of operation uh, when we want to create a, a traffic simulation using InfraWorks and mobility simulation. Um, the first one is uh, using the traffic simulation functionality um, purely in InfraWorks where um, the, the, the traffic simulation is, is built by, is driven by mobility simulation um, sort of in the background transparently. Um, the second mode is uh, very similar to the first one where we use the, uh, the functionality inside of InfraWorks to build the simulation, but we use the traffic analyst panel to access some of the advanced features uh, and parameters of mobility simulation. Um, so that will spawn a, a separate window for us to interact with and then transfer those uh, those parameters that we've adjusted back into the traffic simulation in InfraWorks. Um, and then the third and final uh, mode or, or method, if you like, is to use um, mobility simulation itself. Um, now, for uh, mobility simulation, uh, you will have to use that uh, if you want to combine people um, with uh, your simulation. Um, and, and also, um, although it's not particularly difficult, the easiest way uh, by far to create a traffic network is to create it in InfraWorks um, either manually or using the model builder and, and then let uh, InfraWorks con convert that to a mobility simulation model. Um, it's, it's far, far easier and far, far quicker. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, the model that we've got uh, that we've got here. Okay, so there's a few things we need to consider um, when we're dealing with uh, an InfraWorks model in terms of mobility simulation. And the main one is the roads themselves. So this model has come from a 
uh, a model builder um, exercise and you'll see that these roads are all um, sketch roads. Uh, now um, we need to be working with design roads for mobility simulation. Um, so uh, we either need to convert them uh, beforehand or um, the action of starting mobility simulation will uh, you'll get a message from InfoWorks saying, do you want me to convert them for you? Which is great. And if you're doing a large area, it will convert them on a batch process for you, um, which is great. Um, but the, the results can be a little bit variable sometimes and, and it may need some uh, manual intervention to, to, get them, to get them right. Okay, so we're probably going to use a, a combination of that to convert this. Um, the other thing to consider are things like roundabouts. So um, a roundabout like this um, may be converted um, fairly well, but for the most part, especially if you're going to create something in mobility simulation uh, later on, um, I, I would recommend that you convert this to a, a, a real uh, roundabout entity um, inside InfoWorks. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. So the easy way to do that is to just delete these parts. Like so. This is just normal InfoWorks stuff. Okay, and then just convert to component road. Convert to component road. And convert to component road. Okay, so now I'm just going to drag these through. Like so, and then okay, and hopefully we'll be able to convert this to a roundabout. Okay, so it's done that. We will need to change the change the size of this. So just drag that out something like that. Okay, so now we've got a, a, a proper roundabout entity. Okay, so that's great. Um, so this has now been created as a, uh, a design road. Um, I don't believe this one has, so if I just click on that, that is still sketch road. So we can convert that now. So just ask it to convert that. We should see that intersection change. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm going to also manually convert these ones because I think we'll get a better we'll get a better job, especially with this one. Okay. That's connected that in well. The other ones are not too worried about. Okay, so let's make a, a start on this. So let's go up to Analyze, Transportation, and we'll go to Traffic Simulation. Okay, so it's highlighted the fact that we've got some design roads already. Um, but what I want to do is, is extend it out across the, the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start over here and you can see I'm now able to draw this polygon. Now, um, in a similar way as you saw earlier in the course with uh, person areas, um, we have the equivalent for uh, traffic. Okay, and they're called zones. So if I zoom in here and I place one there and then I cross over this, you'll notice that as that 
uh, lower rubber band crosses the uh, the road itself, the design road, um, I get a little cube that is highlighted, and that's telling you that it's it's seen a place where it can put a zone. Okay, but it can't put a zone across here, across this this part that I'm pointing to, because that is still a sketch road. Okay, so it won't put a zone there now, but when it converts it in a moment, you'll see that it will put the, it'll put a zone in. So let's move across here, maybe up to uh, maybe up to here, across here, and you can see as I as I do this, you'll see the zones start to be uh, pushed in. I'm going to come around the back and. Let's go a little bit further down, maybe to there, up to here, across here, across here, and then we'll move that one down there and then double click to finish it off. OK, so here we are. So it's saying that there are planning roads inside the traffic area. OK, so do we want to come to convert them? Yes. So just let it do its thing. It doesn't take too long for something small like this. And hopefully we'll see that once it's converted them, it's been able to put the zones in the right place for us. OK, so let's zoom in and have a look, see what it's done. OK, so you can see that it has done that there. So before we could only get a zone down here where that design road was on the edge of that roundabout, but it's converted this. Notice that we're crossing across it and it's put the zone in for us. OK, so that seems to have worked quite well and, and similarly up here. And just like with the person areas that we saw in, in the course, we'll be able to set demands for traffic to and from these uh, zones that have been put in. OK, so um, let's do a very quick simulation now. So. Um, I'm going to put, um, well, it won't make a lot of difference at the moment, but I think if I just put on some revolt volume, so result volume. So what this is going to do is going to highlight uh, every um, every junction, uh, every roundabout, and tell us visually if there's a problem with um, the amount of traffic queuing up in these areas. Okay, um, and, that, and that's user configurable. Down in the simulations itself, um, we can we can click in here and we can see there are some already built simulations. Okay, but these are these are fixed. We can't do anything with these um, using the functionality purely in traffic simulation. Okay, but we can we can pick one and we can say run the simulation. So that is now going to prepare the traffic model. So what that's doing in the background, that is actually creating a mobility simulation equivalent of our model. It's going to then run uh, the simulation in the background and then push the results uh, to InfoWorks. So we'll just let it do its thing. It shouldn't take more than a moment. OK, so it looks like it's uh, Doing something now. Okay, great. So that's completed uh, the calculations around the simulation. So underneath results, we see this is the one that we've just created, and then this animation player has just uh, has just arrived, and that's going to help us um, play it. So if we just say, okay, just play, and we'll see what it does. Okay, so if you have a look, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see uh, not a lot's going on. Okay, and that is because the demands in these built-in simulations are quite low. So you can see there's one car moving around here. Um, and you can also notice these are the these are the areas relating to uh, this analysis display part that I, I spoke about a moment ago. So if you hover over that, 
you'll see that eventually there'll be a queue of 23 seconds if we just let it run and run and run. Um, but down here, seven seconds. So this one is, is okay. Seven seconds is below 20. This one's 23 seconds, which is above 20. So that's why it's colored red. Okay. Um, but there's not a lot going on uh, because there's not many cars. So we want to be able to change that and change many other things as well. Okay, so this is great for um, you know, basic demonstration or just showing customers. Watch out for things like that. You may find that you see things like this happening. Um, you need to be you need to be careful of that. Okay, it doesn't happen all the time, but um, sometimes you'll spot that you'll spot that happening. Okay, so you can see it didn't happen then. Okay, just be careful of that. Okay, so I'll just pause that there. So in terms of the flow control, what uh, traffic simulation has done is it's, it's looked at what the, uh, the flow control has been set up in terms of the InfoWorks design roads, and it's tried to, as best as possible, replicate that. Okay, but we might want to change that, and we can change that inside InfoWorks, rerun the simulation, and that and that will also work. But if we want to change pretty much anything else, we're going to have to go to the advanced parameters. Okay, so we do that by right-clicking in this uh, inside the study area, and you'll see there is uh, something called the traffic analyst panel. Okay, and that's what we uh, we need to interact with. So we'll say we'll go with that. And then it's just giving us a warning that these are advanced parameters. It's great because that's what we need. We'll say OK and the panel will open. And what this is going to be is basically a, a separate window for um, mobility simulation. OK, so this is the, this is the window uh, itself. So I'm just going to resize that so I can see on screen better. Okay, so you may notice that this is actually very similar in look and feel to mobility simulation um, when we used it later um, earlier in the in the course. But we we only have access to traffic related um, actions really. But that is the mobility simulation model that's run that's running in the background. And these are the simulations that are available in here. Okay, uh, so if we want to start to change some things here, um, we, we can do that. So the first thing I want to do is to increase the volume of traffic. So um, the first thing we need to do is go to demands. And as you can see, the reason we weren't seeing many cuts because there's not many specified. So I'm going to change this to quite a large volume. I think something fairly unrealistic, but will serve our purposes in terms of trying to demonstrate and learn uh, this product. So I'm just going to push this up to 40 everywhere. Okay, so that's a lot. That's a lot of cars. Um, so I'm going again. <clears throat> excuse me to and from um, the traffic zones, which you'll see, which you see here. So those are the traffic zones. So in mobility simulation, um, traffic zones are green as, a per as opposed to the, uh, the person areas, which are that purple, that purple color. Okay, so I'll say okay to that. Um, and as with the, um, with mobility simulation, when we're working with uh, people, the easiest way to, to keep straight with your simulations and all the settings is just to create a new simulation once you've changed anything uh, and you're at a point where you want to, to see it happen. So um, if you just hit the plus there, there's a simulation name. So I'll just call it simulation one. Uh, make it the current simulation. And then we can press play and hopefully we'll see um, lots of cars 
start to uh, start to arrive and there we go so we can see there's there's lots of activity now um, and it's all, all a bit of a all a bit of a free fall but now we can now we can actually see what's what's going on now if you want to see that back in um, in infraworks all we do is just say sync and then close it down and then if we look over to here we'll now see we've got simulation one added to the list okay so we can hit that now it won't automatically produce the results for us so we need to run that simulation inside infoworks so we just need to do that um, and, and then we'll be able to run it and, and see what the animation looks like okay so that seems like it's finished that so it's just loading there we are and um, as you can see now these uh, these result volumes are, are now completely different and you can see there's going to be as expected a, a lot of queuing with the uh, the volume that uh, that I've configured so um, we just ask it to, to play and we'll see uh, we should see a lot of cars arrive fairly soon okay that's great and down here also and if we look at the roundabout okay that seems to be working as well Okay, that's fine. Um, but what if we want to change something ar around an intersection, say? Um, so we can do that in uh, a, a number of ways, but the uh, the best way is to do it inside the traffic analyst panel. So if we if we go back there again, uh, we'll see there's some ways of of changing. Uh, a lot of these parameters okay so we're, we're interested we're interested in, in this area here um, and if we right click on it and say um, intersection adjust you'll see we get a um, a dialog box which allows us to adjust the signaling basically so uh, for this particular one um, it's already set up with uh, a, a number of different signals um, and if you click on each one you will see what it's relating to so it will put an arrow in makes it easy to understand what it's talking about so what I will do is I will make a change here. So I will make this left turn only. So just click into this fixed signal and I'll say barred. So we can't turn, we can't turn right, but we can turn left. There's a free flow there. We're just giving way, giving way, and then free flow in the other direction. Okay. And then we just hit apply and then okay. And uh, again, easiest way, just create another simulation with all the new parameters, make it current, and then we can actually play it in here and, and watch that uh, watch that change happen. So as you can see, nothing nothing from here turning turning right at all. Okay, so um, that is how to create a, um, a basic simulation inside of InfoWorks with the help of the um, traffic analyst panel. So we can make changes um, using the advanced parameters, have a look at the signaling, um, 
And now, really, uh, what I want to do is to open this model in Mobility Simulation itself and then see how we can combine that, uh, that simulation uh, with, with people as well. And that will be the next thing we need to do. Okay, so to go to Mobility Simulation, um, ex exactly as we've done uh, in the past, uh, so we just go to Transportation Mobility Simulation. Um, now it's highlighted this traffic study area um, because it was there, because we've, we've just defined that using traffic simulation. Um, so uh, you can either go with that or, or start a new one. Um, but I'm, I'm going to go with, go with that. Um, right click and then just hit mobility simulation and uh, we'll get the mobility simulation window uh, as, as before. So um, it won't um, it won't keep the old uh, traffic settings. Okay, so it's creating a new mobility simulation uh, model for us. And there it is. Okay. So let's have a look and see what we uh, what we have here. So in terms of um, demands, okay, we'll have to make the the change again because I want to I want to uh, I want to see that there is a, a lot of a lot of cars around. So we'll just push some more cars into this matrix. So, okay, um, and then just to check on this, let's just see what the flow control is. So I'll just select that there, go to intersection, adjust. Okay, so we've got that as before. So if I change that one to... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's just, yeah, let's, let's change it. So we'll make that one, we'll bar that one. That's okay. So left turn only again. Okay, that's fine. Um, so let's just see what that, how that works. So create a simulation, make it current, and we start to run it. There we go. So we've got lots of lots of cars moving around this network. So that all seems fine. Okay, so that's how it was pretty much before in um, mobility simulation, uh, in traffic uh, simulation inside InfoWorks. Um, but now I want to look at how we can combine um, this with some people movement. Okay, and in fact, how we can get those those people as they're moving around to interact with the cars, how they um, how they're aware of each other. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a very small people network. So I'm just going to go into uh, plan view as we as we did before. Um, orthographic is always favourite. Um, and I'm just going to start adding some walkways. So I'll say right, 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 right click, um, go down to walkway, new walkway cursor, uh, two meters wide, standard length, that's fine. Okay, there it is, just as it was before, except that if I rotate this, you'll notice that it is in completely the wrong elevation. Okay, and this is because the elevation has been set by uh, set by InfoWorks, and everything is 
basically in the wrong place for adding walkways to this simulation. So we need to edit the elevation of the walkways manually. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom that out to get that back into plan view. Okay, so the easiest way to do this, it's, it's not difficult. Um, we just need to select one of these, uh, select one of these roads, right click, under geometry, change height, and we just need to see what the heights are. So it's about 64. That's the, that's the elevation. So all we need to do is just select that, right click, geometry, change height, enter manual height, 64. And with any luck, that is now in the right place for us. Certainly the right elevation, that's great. Okay. So now we can start to manipulate it. So what I will do is I will uh, first need to put on the uh, the correct layers. So we want uh, walk center lines, walk connections, um, and then the handles. So end and other. Okay, so I'm going to drag that end over to over to yeah over to here and over to here. And then the easiest way, save going through that process again of changing the height. If we just copy and paste. it will be at the right elevation for you. So nothing nothing to change. So we'll just move that over to there. And that one can stay there. And we can paste another one in. Bring that one down here. Because what I want to do um, is if I I'll drag it down here a little bit. Um, I want to create a crossing across this road here. Okay, so I'm going to add a few more of these. So maybe we can do do it that way, some something like that. Um, and just move that along a bit. That probably do. Okay, so to get a crossing on, this is a function of the. Um, a function of the road itself. Okay, so we use the uh, the lane tools to create this. So if we just select a lane and say right click, go into lane, new crossing. Okay, we're going to get asked a lot of questions because there's an, any number of different crossings that we can have. Um, so you just need to pick the one from here, so I want uh, unsignalized with the pedestrians taking right of way. So I'm going to choose that one, um, and then the position. I'm just going to leave it in the middle. Um, a number of settings here. Um, it's not signalized, so there's nothing to change here, and it's put it in place for us. Okay, so what we can do, you can actually pick this up. Move it around a little bit, like so, and then we just connect to it. So I'll just select that end and that end, go to walkway, new connection, and this end and this end, what, wait, new connection. Okay, that's connected together. So we just need to connect these now. So like so, and this one from here. Okay, so that's our, our network in place, but we don't have any um, person areas. So we can't get a flow yet. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the image off for a second. And then just as we did 
area in the course, we'll just say area, new area cursor. Okay, now you can see it has not highlighted that. Okay, so that's telling us these aren't connected and that's because it's added this at that lower level again. Okay, so we must be aware of that. So we're just going to put the other one in and then we'll, we'll make the necessary changes. So area, new area cursor. So I'm going to select both of these areas at the same time. Like that. And I'm going to say adjust. Okay, so this little tick box will help you if you're selecting more than more than one thing, say apply to all. And then any changes you make will be revealed in here. So I'm going to say um, start at uh, 62 and make the height 5. I'm hoping that will be enough. So when I apply that, you can see both of those walkways became highlighted. So I know these are now at the right height and these walkways are inside these uh, person areas, which we know is uh, critical to making this work. Okay, so we can close that down, press escape. Um, and we now have, as you can see, a, a network and a, and a crossing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn back on that image. Okay, that's fine. Um, and if we go to um, the demands, uh, obviously we only have a matrix for the cars at the moment, so we need to make a new one for the people. So I'm going to say add matrix number two. It's going to be for people, not vehicles. Okay, we're just going to run through, the, we're just going to use the same defaults as we have done, just trying to show the mechanism here. We've gone through all this uh, in previously in the course. So we just say, okay, um, and then we need to set a number of of people. So sometimes it puts the, the arrow down below. Okay, so that's going in the right direction. I can just about make that out. Okay, so... We'll put um, we'll put a hundred in. Don't want too many. Okay. And then all we need to do is to go to simulation, create a new simulation with those, all those new settings, make it current, and then we shall be able to run it. Okay. So we can see the people are starting to come out here. Obviously, we've got lots of these cars, um, but the critical thing for you to understand is how this is going to influence the flow of traffic when the uh, when the people come across. So you'll see that the they are not actually interacting. So the cars are actually stopping when the people are coming through. Although I think the animation could be a little bit better. Okay. So that is how you can combine uh, a people simulation with a traffic simulation to create um, a one combined uh, simulation.